you cook some awesome barbecue with your Weber kettle, you close the top vent and you close the bottom vent so you could extinguish the coals and you've got a dirty inside here with the dirty grates and leftover charcoal or ashes. Now what do you do? Let's go through this layer by layer. The cooking grate, you can leave this as it is. Next cook, just go ahead and fire up the coals and give it a good scrubbing with your favorite grill brush. Clean it up right before you put the food on. Or give it a bath. An old plastic tub like this and a garden hose make the job a little easier. I like to prefer to use the Dawn dishwashing detergent and the scotch Bright scrubbing pad with the uh, non-scratch side. You do your thing, but personally I wouldn't worry about getting this thing too perfect. After all, I did say you could just leave it dirty, and after a few cooks, you're going to understand why. But uh, this thing is going to get sat uh, sanitized by fire right before your next cook. And uh, one thing I say, just don't leave it wet, or there will be areas, especially along the welds, where it will rust. The charcoal grate, and we have some leftover charcoal in this case. What do you do with your leftover charcoal? This is some good stuff here, but definitely not enough for a longer cook. Maybe something quick. You can simply throw it away or save it. Save it, maybe just shake loose the ash very gently, and then pick up each piece and put it in a bucket. Add it to your next mix of uh, charcoal that you light up. Easy way to knock loose the ashes is just give the old unit a few tops here and uh, watch it start to fall through the grates. Personal favorite is just go ahead and light that up right now with a little torch and uh, cook something that's not going to take super long to cook, like maybe some burgers or a steak. You could throw some lighter fluid on there, but eh, that's not my favorite. So the coals are gone because you used them, saved them, or tossed them. You don't need to do anything else with this grate. It's a cool little feature that I was surprised to learn that a lot of people didn't know. You know that uh, damper down below that you use to close off or open up the air? Well, that also serves as a device to empty the ashes. All you gotta do is turn it side to side and watch the ashes flow through down to this little pan below. Oh, it's not the cleanest of operations and um, also if you have a little brush like this it kind of helps speed the process along but if you want a cleaner situation just go ahead and spend a little more money on the fancier Weber kettle that has that big catch cup underneath. Now that you've got the ash is out of there and into this pan, you just reach down here and lift this up a little bit and twist, push on one of these little guys here to spin this out of the way and you can drop this pan right out and take it over and dump it. Now that your pan is back in place, your ashes are gone and your grate is however you want it, your Weber kettle is ready for its next cook. So uh, when I leave it alone, I just like to leave that bottom vent, if you can see it, open just in case any liquid gets down in there, it'll drain out. Put the lid on and I leave the top vent closed. And that's it, super easy. If this has been helpful to you, please hit that like button and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. Comments and questions are always welcome. I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. Thank you so much. This has been Tony Tone Barbecue.